Hey guys, and welcome back to the Purple Fox channel. Here are today's shoutouts. If you would like a shoutout, just be sure to comment hashtag Purple Fox channel and turn on all your notifications, and you could be randomly selected to get a shoutout. So without further ado, let's just get on into this video. So today I wanted to do like a ranting and drawing type of video because, um, for a couple reasons actually. One, you guys really like hearing me talk, which is weird because I don't like hearing myself talk, but yeah, go off I guess. The second reason is because art for me, like as of like as of a couple weeks ago, has not been very like fun. I guess you could say. Like I've been pressuring myself to draw only for videos, and I haven't really been sketching and taking time just to enjoy using my sketchbook in general. So that's what I'm doing here right now. So I just went on Pinterest and put some music on and just had a big sketching session like for an hour and it was really really fun. So here's me ranting about topics that you guys wanted me to rant about, I guess. So by far the most requested topic was tracing. So here are just my thoughts on it, simple, like out on the table I guess. So for me, I think tracing somebody else's art and claiming it as your own like not even getting giving any credit to the artist originally just like saying hey this is my art do you guys like it that is completely wrong because you know as artists you take time to draw and study the things you draw and just learn and everything you do takes a lot of time practice patience effort everything like that and for someone just to rip it off just like trace it and use it as their own and not even credit you that is not okay and nobody should ever do that i will agree that tracing to help you learn is okay as long as you don't post it anywhere or if you do give immediate like immediately in like big letters credit the artist the original artist credit 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 because for me i'm not good at drawing a lot of things and tracing can sometimes help me things like proportions and studying from other artists that i want their style some like certain elements of their style to be part of my style I have many like digital art files with me just tracing just for practice and I don't post them anywhere and even if I did I would give credit to the artist because that was their hard work that I am just practicing with. So above all, don't trace and just rip them off and say that hey this is my art because that is not okay but tracing for practice is okay as long as you give credit or just don't post it anywhere. Next thing, is digital art actually art? Yes. That is my thoughts. Just yes. because. If you have seen any of my speed paints, or I'll list like a bunch of artists on the screen, any of their speed paints, anything like that, you know it is not just, okay, I'm just gonna click this brush and an entire art piece is just gonna generate in front of me. No, you have to sketch, and sketching in digital art is probably one of the hardest things for me to do. I know a lot of other artists struggle with this, it is just so hard. And then you also have to like line art and effects and coloring and shading and color theory, all that stuff. It's literally, just traditional art like the same skills you need except you have a bit more leeway like you can move things around you have an undo button but it is different than traditional art but it still requires the same amount of effort and skill you can't just say it's not art because of the amount of hard work i've seen so many artists including myself put into it a question that was also asked that kind of goes along with that do you think symmetry tool in digital art is cheating no because i use it all the time and it's really helpful and I think the tool has been given to us for us to use so it's not exactly cheating and digital art like I said is real art it takes a lot of time and effort so obviously you're not like losing any like effort that you're putting in you are most definitely putting in the same amount of effort as any traditional artist another question that I really enjoy what do you think about talent and being talented do you believe in it okay so I feel like talent is an immediate kind of thing. Like, maybe from like the age of four, you were always like naturally like gifted at art. And that's cool and all. But I think talent is like a thing that isn't very useful throughout your entire like span of doing something. What really matters is the effort and the practice and the time you put into it and if you're having fun. I feel like you can't solely enjoy something just based on talent alone because you have to work at it and it's going to be hard sometimes and you need to practice. I think talent is just a thing that 
people can say you're naturally gifted at something, but that doesn't mean that you are the best at it or you enjoy it the most or you can, I don't know, just like not improve on it any further. I believe that talent is a finite thing, whereas enjoying your craft and really like practicing and improving and making an effort to at least do it and having fun with it is more infinite. I hope that made sense. That probably did not make sense. I am sorry for you having to listen to this. Next thing, what's your opinion on people getting too inspired from yours or anyone else's art? Mm, this is a very iffy subject. So for me, I know that sometimes when I have absolutely no ideas whatsoever, I will go on Pinterest and just try and draw the thing in my own style. It doesn't have to be a draw that's in your style specifically, I'll just do it for inspiration. But usually I will be saying that, hey, I got all these ideas from Pinterest and I'm not claiming it as my own. So that's kind of my take on it. It's similar to tracing, I guess. For me, it's based on how inspired you are of the thing. Like I saw like a nymph girl the other day on Pinterest and that's kind of like what got my brain turning into like mythical creature girls and that's how I did the demon girl speed paint. But I didn't like exactly copy a nymph girl. If I did draw a nymph girl, I'd say I got the idea from Pinterest. And if I did like an exact copy, draw this in your style kind of thing, even if it wasn't a draw this in your style that I found from Pinterest, I would say, hey, I like this idea, so I'm drawing it in my own style, it's from Pinterest, here's the pin, blah 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 blah. These questions are less like unpopular opinion kind of stuff and more just like personal stuff, I guess. So do you want to make more content? Uh, I've been kind of in a content like slump lately, um, just with art in general, but I think I'm getting out of it, fingers crossed knocking on wood. I just hope I didn't jinx myself, but in general I want to post at least once a week and just continue having art as like a fun thing for me. And ooh, how you like, when you lose subscribers, how do you react slash what do we do about it? I like this question. I have just come to terms that my subscriber count, I don't care about it anymore. Like, I'm excited when I reach milestones, but I don't care so much about it anymore mainly because i've been like in a slump with subscribers and also because that i really care about the comments i'm getting and the interactions from the community and just community in general talking to other people i think that is more important to me rather than the subscriber count subscriber counts are just a number on a screen and i know i don't have 620 people interacting with all of my videos and i have just moved past that fact Sure, I'm kind of like bummed when a video I thought would do really well doesn't do as well as I hoped, but in the end I just move past it and just enjoy the comments that I am getting that are always really really sweet and enjoy the videos that my friends are posting and things like that. I also got this question a little bit. Uh, opinion on having multiple art styles. I think that nothing is wrong with that. Like, I am trying to work on a style that is for chibi stuff, maybe for stickers or just for like stuff I can put in my thumbnails because I don't think that my art would work with the chibi style right now. And I think it's actually impressive how people can have multiple art styles because mastering one itself is just a lot of work. And I think that using it and just doing what you want with your multiple art styles is fine. Also, nobody asked this, but I'm just going to tell you my status on collabs right now. I am just a little bit burnt out from collabing with other people and art contests so i'm only going to enter an art contest now if i really get inspired by it or the person is hosting it that i really just want to enter and for collabs i am closing my collabs off for now for because i just don't want to like i want to right now i want to interact with other people and ask them for collabs because i don't know i haven't been doing that as of late i have been having like other people reach out to me and that's great and all, but those have been my last collabs for like a while now, and I kind of want to do something more self-indulgent. Now for my YouTube journey, because I just kind of want to talk about it a bit, and people ask about it. I have officially been on YouTube for one year, and that'll be in September, I think, or late August. I'll have to check, I'll put it up on screen. And I think it's been amazing how much I've grown since then. I have 620 subscribers, 436 watch hours, and to be honest, I don't think I'll be able to get to 1k by the end of the year, and I'm fine with that, like, honestly. What I'm really proud of is how far my art has come, and just how I've grown, I guess. Like, go back and no, don't do that, don't go back and watch my first video, but my art quality, I think, has improved significantly, 
and I've just been enjoying art a lot more. So yeah, that's about it. If you made it this far, I want to thank you for doing that. And I just have like a question for you guys, like a legitimate question that I want you to answer. What content do you want to see from me? Because I've been in a, like a content ideas kind of rut. I've been in like an everything rut, but for content ideas, I've been especially just like, I have no idea what to do. So let me know and thank you for watching. I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. Tell me what you guys thought of this type of video. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!